Teraz panią Walentynę Bodźkowską, panią profesor z Muzeum Książki i Drukarstwa Ukrainy, która opowie o rzadkich edycjach autorstwa Bartłomieja Groickiego, które znajdują się w tym właśnie muzeum. I appreciate so much uh, to organize this uh, for the invitation and for organize this uh, very important uh, conference devoted to uh, the history of uh, Krakow uh, printing. And uh, I would like uh, my, my topic is uh, my topic is devoted uh, uh, to uh, juridic law, juridic law. <laughs> Yeah, um, devoted to one book uh, which we preserve in our collection, um, which consists uh, from uh, six works uh, by Groetzki. It's an early convolute, uh, the 16th century. And uh, at first, uh, at first, I would like uh, to give a short, uh, a short preface, uh, a little bit about uh, the project which we, uh, cre uh, which we. Uh, mm, uh, uh, work uh, now my uh, project uh, uh, team uh, from our museum and the name of this project is the virtual portal of museum book uh, and printing of Ukraine uh, where we digitize uh, uh, more than 150 uh, items uh, uh, full paid uh, copies of old printed books and uh, then uh, we uh, give access uh, to our web Website. Uh, now we finished uh, uh, two days ago uh, this project, and uh, in uh, the frame uh, within uh, uh, this uh, project, the virtual portal of Museum of Book, uh, we did it as, uh, as well this uh, rare uh, copy, uh, this rare book uh, by Bartolomei Groetzki. A little bit about our museum: uh, Museum of Book and Printing of Ukraine, situated in Kiev in Kivo Pacherska Lavra Printing House. And uh, this printing house founded at the beginning of 17th century and in our collection we have 58,000 items. And uh, um, um, for, um, in this collection we have, we preserve also uh, 600 uh, old printed books and uh, 13,000 graphic works. Uh, our, uh, our building um, are under the uh, protection of UNESCO and that is why the one part of this uh, project virtual portal of museum of book was 3D uh, or laser scan of this building as well and created a, a 3D model of these books. Uh, a little bit uh, from the history of 19th century in, inside uh, our museum where now we have uh, uh, exhibition and uh, you see here like workers from printing house and uh, you see museum workers as well. Um, here is uh, a little bit about the project and uh, when I start uh, uh, to say about the digitalization uh, of our museum collection I start from the first part of uh, uh, this process and uh, uh, it was related with a brotherhood uh, uh, Gutenberg brotherhood uh, with the Warsaw, uh, Warsaw section of uh, this brotherhood uh, during um, at this time, uh, we have like a first experience uh, uh, with the digital pro process, and uh, our partners, Digital uh, Ostrog Bible, uh, Historia Bible, uh, printed in Augsburg, uh, which we preserve in our collection, Lexicon Pomeberin, they printed in uh, 1627, and Jus uh, Municipale, to is Pravo Magdeburskie, printed in Lviv in uh, 1581. We 
preserve in our collection as well. Uh, then we continue this protest uh, uh, without grant and without partners uh, like uh, ourselves uh, with uh, photo camera, but uh, the uh, quality of this copy is very, very nice, perfect. Uh, and uh, we um, like uh, send this uh, full copy uh, page uh, digitalization book uh, to our website as well. Uh, then, uh, when um, uh, I wrote this project and uh, I tried to get a grant, and uh, uh, this year in July, uh, we get a grant from our Ukrainian Cultural Fund uh, to digitize uh, this copy and to write electronic catalog, uh, electronic catalog book, and uh, create a virtual tour and uh, create a, 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 a 3D copy of our building. Uh, to try, try uh, in this way, we try to uh, to like uh, to save our a collection, especially during this war. And uh, uh, we write catalog, and then if you will have time, I show this catalog, because uh, uh, as for me, it's very interesting, because uh, uh, it's not only about the uh, like uh, traditional catalog where you uh, see the codical forms, uh, the uh, traditional academic uh, um, uh, attribution, but uh, every copy uh, has link uh, to uh, YouTube channel, our museum YouTube channel, where we uh, set up uh, our lecture uh, devoted, for example, this book, or uh, um, uh, has a link uh, to our uh, website, uh, to this position, and uh, when you read in catalog this information, you can uh, use as well our website uh, online collection, and uh, uh, research or um, observe uh, this uh, copy uh, full page. Um, and uh, now I, I, I start uh, to talk about uh, my topic, I mean about uh, a book uh, um, uh, which we preserve in our collection, I mean uh, Bartolome Groyski, uh, Bartolome Groyski Magdeburg Law. Uh, the book was purchased for the museum collection uh, from one uh, private person uh, who named uh, Zuba in uh, 1980, uh, third, uh, third year. But in this time, um, the, this book was not a uh, right attribute. And uh, for example, before this uh, starting of this project, uh, this book was attributed uh, like a uh, juridic law uh, printed in Krakow, uh, uh, 17th century. Uh, then. I start to walk uh, with this uh, book and uh, um, I uh, discover that uh, uh, this book is a convolute. A convolute consists of uh, six uh, uh, six works by Bartolome Groyski, and you see here a list of uh, this uh, book, which uh, um, which are in uh, one convolute, and. Uh, um, uh, when I try to attribute this book, uh, uh, for me was very helpful uh, the website, uh, Polona website, uh, and uh, I uh, discover and research uh, and compare our uh, convolute with uh, um, item uh, from Jagiellon University Library and uh, from uh, Narodova uh, Biblioteca in Warsaw, and. Uh, um, I, uh, when I compare these examples, I uh, um, uh, like uh, get uh, a sharp information about our book as well. A little bit about Bartolome Groyski. I know that uh, the uh, Polish sciences and not only Polish sciences uh, know very well about uh, uh, this person. And yesterday we had uh, another uh, another uh, speech about uh, Bartolome Groyski, but a little bit about. Uh, uh, Bartolome Groetsky and about uh, this uh, about this book. Uh, Magdeburg Law 
is one of the most widespread legal system of city self-government in Central Europe and mid the Middle Ages, which spread, uh, spread of Ukrainian settlements starting from 13th century. For a long time, residents of cities and towns, towns drew knowledge of this law from Latin language sources. In the second half of the 16th century, the Polish lawyer Bartolomei Groetzki, uh, you know that he was a Krakow citizen, uh, was one of the first to start translation uh, them into Polish. All the time, the scientific treatise formed a collection under the general name Saxon in Polish uh, historiography. This collection was supported uh, to be um, like a property of particular court or magistrate. Uh, um, uh, I would like to add uh, to these text uh, some words. Uh, I mean uh, that, uh, for example, in Ukraine from 13th century until uh, 18th century, more than 600 cities uh, has Magdeburg law. And uh, it's uh, um, for us, uh, uh, and we understand uh, uh, very well that uh, the uh, court and the uh, procurator or advocate uh, should uh, have this, uh, uh, this uh, book. Uh, and uh, um, we know that, the, um, for example, uh, maybe three reasons uh, when these books, uh, uh, like, uh, um, like uh, join together in one convolute. One, maybe uh, we don't know exactly about this, and I think it's like a next step uh, in uh, research. Um, uh, one of uh, one uh, of the reason uh, when the uh, printing house knows about that uh, the people need uh, all these uh, juridic uh, uh, books, uh, they uh, like bound it uh, in one uh, in one convolute. Uh, in a printing house and then sell. Another, another um, reason may be a uh, court or procurator um, uh, try to buy uh, all these uh, uh, editions and then bound it in uh, one convolute or uh, the third reason when the private person who would like to like preserve uh, and uh, to um, self uh, their life uh, in uh, not easy life I, I, I think in uh, the society of uh, early time, uh, they buy these books and then use. Uh, and uh, for um, the reason that uh, the Saxon uh, um, was uh, uh, bounded in uh, court or bounded in uh, printed press, um, some proofs about this, uh, um, the available uh, of these convolute on the territory of Ukraine. For example, uh, in our museum we have only one convolute, but when I research these issues, uh, uh, this topic, uh, I uh, discovered that, for example, in our national library named Vernadsky in Kyiv, uh, we have uh, six uh, convolute uh, uh, early printed, because, uh, uh, um, for example, some of them uh, bounded uh, four items, uh, four books, uh, some of them five books bounded in uh, one book, uh, some of them uh, um, has uh, six or eight Allegats. Uh, then uh, this book was uh, uh, these works by Bartolomei Groitsky were, pr uh, were um, uh, reprinted uh, in uh, Premeshel uh, in uh, 1760 and uh, bounded as well, but um, a little bit a different uh, convolute. Another uh, uh, some works uh, were another, and I uh, know that. For example, the collection in Ostrog, 
uh, in Ukraine, uh, Ostrog Museum has one, uh, no, he had three uh, uh, the works uh, by Bartolome Groisky, early time, printed early time, 16th century. Then, uh, Vin Vinnitsa. In, in Vinnitsa, we have a great library, a scientific library, and they have the same uh, convolute uh, which we have. Then, in our central archive, uh, historical archive in Kyiv, they have uh, uh, one uh, example of uh, convolute, but uh, uh, much more um, oligots, uh, and uh, um, the the date is uh, close uh, to our dates. Um, and uh, another uh, another uh, these books. Uh, um, uh, I uh, founded uh, founded in Nizhen uh, collection of uh, Nizhen uh, Nizhen library. Um, uh, it's uh, the uh, uh, close Chernihiv. Maybe you know. Maybe not. Uh, the, the page from the page from uh, our catalog, and uh, uh, I would like to uh, say some words about some uh, about this book. Uh, the first oligarch in our uh, in our convolute is Pozondek uh, Sondov is Prav Meiskih Prava Magdeburskogo, and uh, uh, this book uh, was printed uh, was printed uh, in because uh, 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 researchers uh, not now exactly exactly the date of uh, the printing of this book, but it's early time, uh, 1562, 1568, and even until 1575. Uh, we have here preface, uh, and uh, our, our book uh, lack only one page, only title page. Uh, then uh, we don't know the belong of uh, this convolute, I mean in early time, because we haven't marginally uh, or provenance and on the uh, on the page of uh, this book, uh, the second uh, oligot uh, is a uh, articuli prava Magdeburskoho Kturezova speculum saxonum, uh, printed in 1567, uh, and uh, maybe you know that the title page uh, has a wrong date of printing wrong date of printing, and uh, I know that the Polish uh, Polish colleagues uh, know about this. And uh, why I would like to show uh, this page? Because uh, uh, we see here the um, like, uh, artist uh, and uh, ornamental and uh, um, uh, how to, how to, uh, um, uh, this book uh, has uh, uh, some, not illustration, but uh, uh, artist in it and uh, uh, we see here um, uh, uh, heruvim, heruvim, you see, uh, like a cast, uh, uh, cast uh, ornament. Uh, but uh, why I uh, focus on this uh, ornament? Uh, yeah, because because uh, 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 look uh, in Ukrainian history, in Ukrainian his, uh, I mean history of book, uh, many of our scientists think that this uh, uh, this uh, ornament, uh, I mean Kozak uh, Hervim, was uh, created by Fyodorov, because uh, uh, he used uh, this ornament first time in Ostrog Bible. Maybe you know our famous Ostrog Bible, which printed in 15. 81st. But I found it, this ornament in uh, uh, the book of Bartol by Bartolomei Groetsky, printed in the, uh, uh, in the printing house Andrusevich, in, uh, which printed in uh, 1567 years. Then, uh, you see, uh, you, um, I haven't time yet. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. I show a little bit. Uh, I, I show a little bit uh, uh, the page. Oh, mamma mia! Uh -huh. I show. Uh, why? Why I cannot? Uh, come, uh -huh, here. Uh, I show a little bit uh, um, the the fifth uh, page. Uh, the fifth uh, fifth oligot calls uh, our uh, is uh, like a question for uh, the next research. Uh, calls uh, our version of uh, five uh, uh, five book uh, which we have here. Tituli uh, Tituli Prav Majdeburskoho, uh, like uh, one of the version. 
when I compare, you see I compare with the Jagellon, uh, Jagellon exemplar, I saw that they uh, write and attribute like a version second, but variant two, but we have like variant one, but I, I, I am not sure. And a little bit about uh, the, our project, because uh, uh, the Bartolome Groeski is here as well, and uh, maybe uh, I, I show here, and uh, this, virtual, uh, this virtual exhibition, I I sent link and you can uh, see in a 3D, 3D, uh, 3D uh, view. Uh, and uh, um, conclusion, I think that uh, now, uh, now is our museum 3D, uh, 3D copy. Look, I think uh, that now we have uh, like uh, one great challenge. I mean, Ukrainian, especially Ukrainian culture and Ukraine, Ukrainian scientists. Uh, this challenge is uh, decolonization. And uh, it's about, I mean, for example, Kozak Hervim, it's uh, about decolonization as well. Because many ornament and many uh, illustration which we uh, uh, which we uh, uh, saw in our see in our books i mean old printed books uh, every time we compare with uh, cyrillic copies but not think about how to work uh, uh, how uh, how to, uh, illustrated for example uh, krakow printed uh, books or uh, another print, in another uh, in another printing house in europe and now now I think it's a very great prospect uh, to uh, like uh, to discover our mutual history. Thank you so much. <laughs>